what did network marketing teach you about business, about entrepreneurs? I think everybody wants to take a dabble in starting their own business, in my opinion, should have some form of network marketing okay, experience. Yeah. Yeah, I think from the, the standpoint of really communication skills, I think networking has been one of the biggest things that's helped me um, in any of my businesses um, build business. Um, I think also the biggest thing for me is probably definition of risk, right? People are so fearful of risk and I think to me, it's not risk. I've never had risk in any of my businesses because it's calculated and I'm betting on me. So if okay. I can't bet on myself, right, yeah. then I think you've got a problem. But th that comes up even today. So many, a lot of people are always, they want to come and yeah. they want to raise or they want to start their thing. And I'm all for people starting their own thing. And But again, they want something, but they don't want any of the risk associated yeah. with it, right? So I think that and then um, really just the discipline and you're, you're eating what you kill, right? right? So if you're not making it, but learning and taking things that, I don't know, like different levels of other people have had, right? Mm -hmm. And then trying to implement those and looking at how you work and that fear of rejection. So mm -hmm. I can still remember knocking on thousands and thousands and thousands of doors before yep. I would get that yes, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, I learned from a lot of the people later on in life too, like Larry Raskin and a bunch of people from, I was in ACN for a long time and yeah, yeah. built that up in re the Dallas operations here. Back, so. to, back to the tech side of things. The tech side, yeah. <laughs> but um, just, a lot of things, I think, from personal development is the biggest thing, right? And um, yeah, I mean, you can't get that as your, as your own individual retail operation or solo op, so, solopreneurship. You get you think you get more of that personal development focus with a network marketing type of environment. Yeah, yeah and I, 100%. I like a lot of people all the time are like, oh, I need want to be an entrepreneur. I'm like. Look, you don't have to be an entrepreneur, okay? There's a lot of good entrepreneurs. Correct. I think yep. a ton of people make great money, 300, 500,000, 700,000 as an entrepreneur, yeah. more, right? Yeah. They had all the headache. And yeah. I think some days, hey, <laughs> yeah. that's probably better, right? But, yeah. but again, whatever you want to be wired like, but again, it, it, the biggest thing goes back to like, I see so many people as well say, hey, in life, okay, I'm going to do this when this is perfect, right? Or when yeah. this happens. And I say, look, there's never a perfect time. I have a thing I always say, I say, better is perfect, okay? Yeah. Because there's perfection's this myth, right? Yeah. The only perfect person is Jesus, okay? From Amen. that st standpoint. We all know what to do to him. Yeah. <laughs> but from that point, like, there's so much, like, hesitation, right, to move forward. And I think yeah. you get caught up and you get surrounded. And then what do they do? They procrastinate. They don't do anything. Yeah. But, yeah. again, a lot of overcoming objections yeah. and sales training and all that were big things that helped me grow all my business. So. It's interesting because, uh, you know, of course, you know, PHP, we're a network marketing style type of uh, life insurance organization, retirement service yep. type organization. But I find myself also getting hired to do consulting work for people that are not network marketing, just to see what type of culture we can teach them how to develop from their sales leadership uh, standpoint. So they're willing to pay for our counsel to coach them on how to build that type of network marketing culture for their, yep. you know, their non-traditional or for their traditional business model. And it works. Yeah. You know, and, and Patrick right now is running these conferences, teaching the world about entrepreneurship, the Vault Conference. People paying $15,000 to have a front seat and guess what they want to know how we build php mm -hmm. how did you build it's through a network marketing yeah. type of distribution but you also see that in the, the sports supplement industry one of the most successful companies out there is first form right right and yeah, yeah. Sally and sal and chris yeah. and yeah. they've built that based on that same culture and they crush it yeah so absolutely <laughs>